All right, my man. State your name. Let them know you on Nickavelli TV. You already know the name. You already know where to go. My man, GS. Yeah, you already Been on here know numerous of times. What's popping, people? What's popping, man? We here to talk Flo. about these Nick basketball again. And I got some serious questions to ask you. Yo ass. What's up? Okay, man. I'm going to start off simply by asking you. If you could name a player that you wish never put on a Nick uniform. A player that I never wish put on a Nick uniform. Who would that be? Amari Stoudemire. Amari? Amari Stoudemire. Why you wish he never put on a, a Nick uniform? What you didn't like about his game? Like what nah, was nah, the it wasn't his game. It was, just, it was a curse. He, put, he wasn't supposed to be there anyway. He was already injured prone. We paid him. We just got him rich. The Knicks literally, he went to New York to get rich. You look at it. Not even a year later, Carmelo came. Once Carmelo came, it was over for him. We should have never won for him. We got rid of some good players for him at that. So, so basically, you saying that you don't believe there was a ego clash between Melo and Stoudemire? You just believe? Oh, you do believe it was that? I believe it because when he, when Mari went there, you're gonna be the face of the team. Da da da. You're gonna get money. We make sure that turned the nigga into a Jew, just like the owner. That was Dolan's little puppet. Nobody wanted to be Dolan's puppet. But Amari was. Amari was. Think about it. He turned Jewish. Who does that? <laughs> You're funny. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, think about it. What black man would turn Jewish? And literally go through the whole day? Just because your owner's Jewish? He made a, a quick hundred million, too. So Dolan got his, paid, and Dolan got his money back right back then. They did. Because whatever in the Jewish community stays in the Jewish and community. Basically. So that, you, you see? I see what you're saying. All right, all right, okay. Now you can't even see Amari starting my. Where the hell's Amari at? Anybody seen Amari? Somebody, if y'all see Amari, please send him out. Oh, <laughs> we need to man. talk to him. Oh, man. <laughs> Wasn't there a time, though, that was uh, Metal <laughs> yeah. Peace? Yeah, that's Saying Metapiece. that he want to coach the Knicks, some shit like that. I heard. Metal Peace? Coach the Knicks? That's what he said. I think I heard that one time, man. You can't listen to, to Cuckoo Bird? All right, man. And what you still got for my boy Kevin Knox, man? Is oh, he a man, goner? Here we go. Here we go. He's gone, man. He's gone. I heard rumors. We might not even be able to trade for the, with the Golden State Nuggets or with the Golden State Warriors. How you feel about that? Because now they're looking at that, that that white boy from overseas, and they really like that nigga put up a show on for them. So I don't know. Okay. At first it was like, all right, they, they don't really need nobody. They need a center. We probably could get... So you could probably do the Mitch Robinson rule. All right, now. And get that second round draft pick from Ball. Or Speaking of the Mitch Robinson, last time I spoke to you. I said Mitch Robinson is overplayed and you the only one that overrates him. Okay, now. When I looked in the comments. A lot of people agree with me. Exactly. More than I expected. expected because you don't, what you don't get is he's not an A player, B player. He's a B minus to C plus. He's not even mentioned when you say top 10 centers in the NBA. He's not even in that list. I mean, he just got there, though. It don't even matter. He's been, he been there three years now. There's no rookie. It ain't no rookie. It ain't nothing. You can't sit there and say, oh, he just got there. He's been there for more than three years. But don't the NBA... RJ is like, okay, you can say RJ. All right, but he's on the Knicks, yo. It don't and matter. And right now, the Knicks ain't doing and nothing. Why everybody... So, so, so since you on the Knicks, you got to be trash. I'm not saying you got to be trash. No, 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 no. But no, that's the perception. Because, because, no, that's the perception. If you, go, if you look at... Sets, that's the perception. The Kings, go look at the Kings. The Kings been trash for the last 40 years. Yeah, but since they, they got... Had, since they had Spud, Webb, and motherfucking Webber. Yeah, that but, was the last time they was anything. Yeah, but you comparing oranges to apples when you no, talk no, no, about Nick fans, man. Apples. It ain't you talking about Nick fans, man. You might as well put them in the same boat. Listen, if, if they was can. on the scale, there would be no tilting. That's serious. There's no tilt on the scale. If you put Sacramento and New York, there's no tilt. There's no tilt. That's like the two worst NBA teams in the league. My man. So you can't sit there and say, oh, my man. I, I'm going to put the Knicks with them niggas. My man. You got to. You Nick have fans to. is a Ask different them. breed, bro. So when New York cries for a championship for over 40 years, uh -huh. man. And how long, and how long they've been and, crying and, for? And we don't care about how long right, they've been crying. Saying, it's our tears that matters, man. And question. when we you cry for answer. something that we haven't, haven't and seen and in and years, and years and it's a different, man. it's a different, listen, man. That ain't happening for another Listen, 40. man. 
Don't let these dick haters fool you. When you hear, See, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about when you hear the echoes of the world talking about how the Knicks ain't this, Knicks no, ain't it, that. It's, it's not what these motherfuckers is waiting for the a, Knicks to win too. The I'm Knicks, the great. You don't think everybody that's on these, all these commentators, they all say the same thing, bro? The Knicks. If you look at ESPN, you look at all of them from Stephen A. Knicks fan. Write you. Knicks fan. All right, so there What's you go. A Knicks fan. They all Knicks fans. There you go. But they won't give it to you how it is. So on this channel, we are giving it to you how it is. All right, and I respect that. So you said Mitchell Robinson, Mitchell Robinson for the second round pick. It, but we ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna do it. Ain't gonna happen. They already <laughs> interested in that white boy, which I figured somebody was gonna be good because that's the next week. He could be the next Dante. Mm hmm. So. Go with him. And any predictions concerning RJ Barrett's game? Well, predictions on RJ. I ain't get to see a full season of RJ. I know you don't expect him to do the same shit he did. No, last I, I season. suspect him actually to be more his jump shot. I seen the couple practices. Jump shot is there now. He changed that up. So, okay. Let's see if he can pull up from the three point line and make at least three of them without shooting a brick. I mean, Brooks and nigga building projects. But he can still average because he goes to the hole. But like I said, like you guys say, like the last five guys you had on here, the Knicks ain't got no players with heart. And that's what we need, heart. So that's why I keep telling you, bring CP3 over. And let's get these kids right. And CP3 is the answer, you believe? That's the only answer right now. If you look... When it comes down to the captain, player association, he's the one that talks to everybody in the NBA. Any problem any player got in the NBA, they got to go to him. So he's like the... They, they have no choice. They're all young. They're going to listen to Chris Paul. And Chris Paul's going to put work in regardless. I don't care what nobody say. How old he is, he's still going to score. But Think he's going to get a triple-double if he play for the Knicks? Yeah, he'll get a triple-double. Think he get RJ that? No, because he's, he's, he's gonna he's gonna It depends. If we can get him, we'll have him RJ, let's say him RJ. Uh we go with the draft pick, we take a power forward or a super guard or, or a small forward. I'm sorry, we keep Julius at the four. You put your man Mitch at the five, right? Alright, so you But even with Mitch at the five, he's gonna get abused on the five. See, Why you say that? Because he's not good at the five. And he you said Mitch is not good at the four. He's not going to be good at the four either. I, I told you that. So he's not going to be good as a power he's, forward because he's, he's too slow. Good. He's too slow. You say he's not going to be good at the five because he's only good for blocking. He's a defensive player. We can't take that. A lot of players get in the NBA and playing in this game by being defensive players because every team wants defense. They don't want scorers. They want defensive players. The ever change. The ever change. You heard Michael Jordan say it last week, nigga, I think if I was playing in this era now, I can't say I would be the best player. But for now, I, I got to sit there and give it to LeBron James. The whole internet went fucking crazy for fucking at least three hours. Jordan says LeBron James in his era, because if you got to think about era, this is era. Now, who's going to take it after LeBron leaves? That's the next question. Who's going to be the one to take it? Hmm. Well, NBA politics, man. Mike got his money. You know what I'm saying? I mean... It's politics, but it's the truth. Mike can say that all he want, but Michael Jordan stayed on one team. Uh, and got them go fucked. That's yeah. right, man, because Jordan listen, one, it's so easy. Now, listen, right? listen. Now you're a Jordan fan, right? I'm not a Jordan you, fan. I, I, I'm a realist. I'm a realist. Nick Avelli TV. I need y'all to really listen to this man right now. If you're going to address listen, my audience, I hate they are Nickavellians. Listen, all right? Nickavellians? Yes. I hate... Michael Jordan. You know why I hate Michael Jordan? I don't Jordan? like him either because you he prevented... You know why I hate Michael Jordan? Because of the, he the reason why my Knicks couldn't get to a championship. So, okay. for Nick Avelli to sit here and say Michael Jordan was this, he stood on one team. It's the truth. 
It don't matter, but I guarantee you, he said it himself. If he left, when he left Chicago and tried to get somewhere, he couldn't get it. And I don't like LeBron. LeBron I respect his game, Eddie, listen to me. but I don't like LeBron because he went to the garden Le Le and he LeBron. spent motherfucking bottles listen. on the motherfucking court floor listen. while they bust our ass. Let's talk about that. Because so you, know you got your reason. I got mine. He's, 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 Let's keep it going, LeBron man. Let's keep it going. LeBron James. Let's keep it going. That era is, is, is what it is. Let's you keep it going. Sense. Why wouldn't I think you like LeBron when you uh you smell like a Laker half the time nah, talking this Knicks shit nah. from the Ankle up to the kneecaps. Uh, it's all LA. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I come on, Kobe man. Kobe a lot, so I can't say that neither. Oh, I miss See? Kobe, by the way. See, that's but it. that was my that, that's who I grew up with. Like the same age, birthday two days before my after mine. We are like literally right there. Like that was my NBA dream. When you see Kobe, like yo, damn, I could have made it at 18. Okay. Now you know I, I mean? I'm gonna so, talk about point guards once again, right? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna bring up any name. Any name. I'm gonna talk name. about players. I, that I, was I, once. I got, couple, I got a couple of players right now that, that I know that could go to the Knicks. That's on the free free agent block this season. And if the Knicks don't be smart enough to take them, they'd be stupid. Okay. And it's I, some good ones. Okay. So I'm gonna go to the team. Uh, back to the team I said before. Okay. Now let, 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 let me let, let me get my in. Okay. Because uh, somebody, one of my Nickelvillians in the comments. Uh huh. Somebody yeah. said something quite interesting, and they said, "What about D Rose? His name is Harley mentioned." On Nick Velli TV. What, Derrick Rose? Derrick Rose. What averaged Rose? 18 points, 4 assists. What about it? You wouldn't mind having him back? Like, we had Tim Hardaway two, three times. There's no mention of bringing Derrick Rose back. And let's talk about D Rose comparison. How are we going to get, get D Rose? I'm saying what you like back, hypothetically speaking. Like, hypothetically since we talk speaking. about. He didn't want to play for the Knicks. Hypothetically speaking. So it ain't nothing. I mean, he, he it, didn't want to. He didn't want. He did not want to. I know play. he walked out the guard. I know he, he did, did not that. Not want to play in New York. He was mad. They got traded, and he got traded to the fucking Knicks. He did not want to play in the Knicks. A lot of these guys don't want to play for New York. They lie. They want to play, but they don't. That's why Kevin Durant didn't come to New York. Fuck he, Kevin Durant. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't want to deal with the pressure. Exactly. It's a lot of pressure. And I mean, he had to heal that. That torn Achilles and but deal with the look, pressure, look, look, and we all know that stress is hard on the body. So if he would have stayed in New York, that torn Achilles, I'm talking about the Knicks side of town, not out in Brooklyn, which is still New York. That's why that shit still ain't gonna heal. He, you know why I say Kevin Durant made a dumb move, man? Because he getting talked about as if he is on the Knicks in no, a bad light. He's so, no, he's in a bad light, meaning it's not, it's that he's hearing it. He's not actually it, hearing nothing bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look yeah, at ESPN yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. They saying. That's going to be one of the top five big teams right now they're looking at the NBA. Somebody said they was going to bring in After, Westbrook for oh, on the Knicks just to get at Kevin Durant on the Nets. No, that would have been a super Westbrook, robbery. Nigga, they, them niggas ain't... The Houston Rockets is not getting rid of them two players. They already announced that. Them two niggas ain't going nowhere. I would think by now they'll get rid of James Harden and let James Harden go somewhere. But nobody in the NBA wants James Harden. And why is that? Because he's not, they, they, nobody's gonna give ISO basketball. Only one player, player is doing that, and that's the player he's playing with. He's with the best person for it. Our ex fucking coach, our ex coach, our ex coach. That coach is Carmelo. Mm. That let Carmelo do ISO all day. Would you like to see Carmelo back? No. Not even with Chris Paul? No. I don't need, he don't need to go deal with that anymore. No? He, he dealt with enough of that already. He tried. We got to give him that much. He tried. He got us to the playoffs a couple of years. And, and, and Carmelo, head is too big. If you put him on his own one team, he's going to think he's the man. And once somebody else starts scoring. No, I think he learned his lesson, man. Nah, he's not learning it. Because if he learned his lesson, man, he'd have, he'd, have, he'd have been smart. He'd have never, he'd have never, he'd have let insanity go crazy, nigga. He'd have let him go crazy. But no, once he realized, oh shit, this guy's still in my life, he's got to go. Speaking of insanity. You talking about where's Amari? Where, where's Lynn? He got off the couch. Oh no, nah, he's in charge. Um, I mean, and he talking about he want to return back to uh to the NBA. Yeah, yeah, he want to come back. A lot of teams would take him, but then it's not. I'm just mad that they they that with that. That's when I knew we had a problem with Carmelo. At first, I was happy we got Carmelo. Then it was like once I realized that, I was like, damn, this nigga don't want to share the light with nobody. That's why he didn't go with LeBron James and what. That's why he didn't go to Miami with the rest of his friends. That's oh, the only reason why he didn't get getting to something. So Carmelo didn't Carmelo go. Carmelo didn't go to Miami because he didn't want to be the third, fourth on the line. He wanted to be the man. That's why he went to New York. 
He said the money, oh, I went because of the money. No, nigga, because if you thought about it, you still got your money. Because LeBron still got his money. Wade still got his money. Ball still got their money. So you could have got your money if you just went to Miami and be a legend now. Now you're going to go down like Patrick Ewan, nigga. Damn. And that's a shame. Go down so, like my man Pat. So, oh, I know you ain't shitting on Pat E. I ain't never gonna shit on Pat. Well, so I what you mean? It's a shame to go down like Pat. Go down like Pat, leave the NBA, be a greatest player, one of the greatest centers in the NBA, and never get a chip. It's not right. Even Alonzo Warner got a fucking chip, my nigga. <laughs> so it's like, we gotta look at that, y'all. I got, gotta look at that. That's why I say, New York, I don't think we destined to get it. Because we'll never get that kind of team again. We'll never get those kind of core players. We'll never get those those players that want to take it to the best player. Like a John Starks. See how he was? Like, Jordan come at him. John was, Starks wasn't scared of Jordan, man. Oh, you want to fly on me and dunk from the line and with your tongue out, motherfucker? I'm coming right back at you. My tongue going to be out. I'm going to dunk on you and Pippen. See what I mean? We mm -hmm. got that. That's what the Knicks need. The Knicks need players like that. We need Bulldogs. We, we need Masons. We need... Niggas, that's ready to beat niggas up all day long. Like, nigga, we here to beat. We need to get, like, the old Detroit oh, so, Pistons. So you want like some that. Xavier McDaniel type players. Yeah, man, like, we need, the Knicks need that, yo. The Knicks need it, because right now the NBA is soft. NBA is soft, bro. Knicks don't want to get fouled. They don't want to be touched. They, 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 they get bumped. They're like, where's the foul? My nigga, you just pushed your body into the man, and, 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 and you want the foul. That's why I was looking at Shaq interview recently. He said it perfect. He said if he was in this NBA now, he'll be the best ever. Why? Because he can't have everybody scared. Because he realized when everybody was scared to hit him, he kept going to the hole. And then the, it opened up. That's why he's like Giannis. But the best Giannis is good. Giannis is great. He's a free agent this year, people. Uh, now, now, in the comments, people, who would like to see Giannis on the Knicks and we get rid of Mitch? I want it, I want I want answers for that. Answers. I'm sorry. I know Nick is it probably hurts his belly a little bit for me to say that. But we gotta look at that too. You got him, you got uh what's his name? We got a couple good tri trips this year. You got point guards, we don't have to go with what's his name. We could go sign the kid from um the Kings, the yeah. point guard, we could go sign him. He's hella good. He's hella good. All right, man.